Welcome to the Captain Sandy and Leah Ray show. And I'm actually going to let you make this introduction. Thank you. What an honor to have the incredible, awesome British chef Ben Robinson. Woo! Thanks, Ben, for joining Hi. us. I'm so happy hey you guys, said yes. Hey, guys, thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm so happy you said yes to this. Obviously, I'm new at this, so bear with me. I can drive a boat, no problem. But when it comes to this kind of interview, <laughs> I might stumble because I might get a little too personal. Oh, no, you're good. I was just so oh, excited to God. meet you. So excited to meet you. Well, thank you. Don't worry. You can get as personal as you want. It's just, it's, it's to my discretion whether I will be answering this. <laughs> yes, exactly. Personal. So, okay, Adventure. Ben. Adventure. Yeah, you know, I actually follow you, and, I, you know, honestly, working with you was incredible on the show. I, um, you're an awesome chef, and you continue to follow your passion after the show. You were passionate before about being a chef. You were passionate on board about being a chef, and you're still passionate. How do you keep the passion? Honestly, I, I was really fortunate, Sandy, enough to love cooking at a very young age, like literally five years old. Um, and I didn't know if that would be my career path, but many times, you know, if you're good at something when you're young, you should probably pursue it. And luckily at the age of 18, I was kind of out of, uh, like, uh, I didn't really have a lot more going on. I was a painter, I was an artist and, and I just thought, God, I don't want to stick. I don't want to spend my life in grungy basements with uh, turpentine and <laughs> oil tubes, and, uh, and maybe, perhaps, which would be very unlikely, I might not make it in life. So I did choose cooking. I loved restaurants, and and cooking is just—it's so broad that uh, there's just so much information out there. So I really continue to learn about that and become even a holistic nutritionist and uh, a food scientist and a lot of different avenues. So I think it's one of those scapes that will really keep me occupied. And I don't think I'll ever deviate from food. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I don't consider myself a TV star. I always moreover consider myself to be a chef. That is where we are similar, Ben, because I consider myself to be a captain. I love the maritime industry, like you love food. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And to have that continued no, I passion. I see that with you. I see that with you. And uh, it was really special that you said that you're, we're equals. And I think what you were trying to say, despite rank, was right. we both care. You know, we both want this charter experience to be amazing. And, uh, and yeah. we're going to get there. So. Yeah. And thank you for that. It means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Um, so I know the other part of this, I would like to ask you, you went on Virgin Atlantic. So you do these cruises on Virgin Atlantic to have people that can afford to get on a ship, not a super yacht, to have your food experience. Is that what that's about? That's exactly right. No, no, I don't want to correct you, but it's called Virgin Voyages. Okay. I'm just kind of learning Sorry. that myself. Okay. Uh, don't worry, it's part of the Virgin brand right. and it's called Virgin Voyages. And yes, it was what I realized was, uh, you know, as a yacht chef, how accessible am I? You know, so I think I gained more accessibility to the, the public by doing this and we will continue to do this and hopefully develop and springboard more opportunities from these ventures. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Leah has some questions for you and um, I'm well, just going to not I've, hog all of this no, because no, you no, and I could fine. talk forever. Well, you all know each other, you know, and I'm, you know, just kind of meeting you, but I do yeah, have yeah. your, I do have your knife that you created mm. in our kitchen and I've been using it and well, I love it. You've been, okay. Yes. Good. good. Yes. That's the first step. Yeah. <laughs> Second step. Don't yourself. Yeah. I've been careful with it. They're sharp. Um, and, uh, it's funny when you're young, like I, I used to just be very reckless with them and I, you learn lessons <laughs> and now I'm really slow and you know, it's, it's, it's good times. You know? So uh, I love the knife. It took two years to develop. We actually just sold out for father's day. Oh, wow. We've got more oh, awesome. coming in. So thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. yeah. And I know you're on what, two charters with Sandy Yep. and you know, and I'm just kind of, 
I'm kind of new at all this, you know, I'm catching up with all the below deck people and her past and stuff. So what are like two things that you can say that you love about Sandy and working for her or under her or with her? I mean, I, I also see public sentiment and, um, I actually think I believe, I believe I came to Sandy's defense a few times because Sandy's just so invested in yeah. the charter experience. And unfortunately she, she doesn't, let's be honest, you don't pick your crew and, and it can be slightly worrisome and, uh, and she's there and she's kind of governing and, uh, but for me, I think she realized, yes, he's very qualified. He can do the job, but she was still present. And I kind of liked that sort of mama figure, if, that, if that's all right, yeah. Sandy. I, I felt there wasn't, I mean, you, you were there in case I needed hand, right. hand holding. And I, I really enjoyed that aspect with Sandy. And, uh, and I think she gets involved enough. I, you know, I, I think it's one of those things that it, uh, it takes a great captain to uh, to uh, really succeed on these missions, and uh, and I think you played it beautifully. Thanks, yeah. Ben. She That's couldn't have awesome. said the nicest things about you. So yeah, we had the opportunity to really spend time together at the world's largest disco. Yeah, I missed out in Buffalo, That's New York. That's right. That was wild. We went to Niagara Falls. That was Falls. a lot of fun. Yeah. That was awesome. And a great cause. Yeah, you know the, the what I found out was those guys. Uh, we found out that. They used to charge five dollars for to have beer parties on a Friday night, and they were coming out of pocket with their money, so they started charging fifty dollars. So with the extra cash, they started this disco oh, wow. in the seventies, and now it's like the world's largest disco. And we got to hang out there with Kate, Ben, and uh, I remember you getting on the airplane, climbing over me, not even seeing me, until you sat down because <laughs> you missed your flight. Uh, I get on an airplane, Sandy. I usually got my blinkers on. You know? I went, hi. <laughs> he was so he funny. climbed over me and didn't notice until I went, hi. And he's like, oh, my God. So that was a lot of fun. And I think we got to know each other. You <laughs> bought me a jacket. Oh, yeah. She sent a photo of that. I did. Yeah. I bought you a spider sort yes. of snowboarding ski jacket. That's yeah. cool. I'm so glad yeah. I did that for you. Yeah. I, I, okay. yeah so, Have you um, used it? Yes, of course. Yeah. I was at uh, in Aspen New Year's and then Gay Ski Week. We used it. Yeah, I used it too. Yeah, thank you. Snazzy. Yeah, so, you know, part of this podcast, uh, Ben, is to inspire others to follow their passion, honestly, because that's what we want. And thanks for being kind about me on the boat because you're right. I am passionate about the client experience. I never had worked with you before, but you were in the weeds. You stepped in to bail me out. And honestly, how you pulled it off was mind-blowing. Every time I watch a chef just open a refrigerator and create meals is incredible. I can never do that. You're truly an artist and very passionate. And I felt you were very kind uh, with the uh, stews, like which most chefs aren't. I thought you were very methodic in what you do. And I love your perfectionism um, when it comes to plating because you have that. And that's pride in your work. And I think when people out there say, hey, I'm passionate about food or I'm passionate about um, I don't know, beauty, whatever it is to follow that passion, but give it the 1000% exactly what you do. Can you speak a little to that? You know, I've done thousands of services and I, I promise I, I question each and every one of them and, and I'm, I'm batting about a thousand percent. So, I mean, I mean, really, I, I mean, should I realistically be questioning it? But it's because I challenge myself and, uh, and these are challenging moments and I, 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 it, it's stressful, it's creative. You're always battling time. It's always a compromise, you know? So are you gonna meet your compromise with your expectation? And, uh, and that's where the challenge is. And I feel like if you can pull it off, you're, you're, you're lucky. So I, if that would be any explanation. I love how you said you challenge yourself because that's exactly what I do. And I love challenging my crew because pressure, people think I can't handle the pressure. We're, we are pressurized people. We thrive under pressure. Pressure, I feel, makes you better. Of course, there's limitations of pressure. You need a proper amount of sleep to be able to handle the pressure. And that's usually when you have the explosions is when you're not really rested, fed. You can't really maintain pressure. Yeah. But... but Hey, listen, pressure makes us better. 
I challenge myself all the time, and I think that's important for people to know. You just don't show up to a job and expect to do the job with no pressure. Jobs come with pressure. If you have the passion behind the pressure, it's even wilder when the clients are so happy and you go, I did this. I did this. That's, that's the awesome part. And that's you, Ben. It, it, it is. And, uh, and it's, I think the most interesting thing is when there's a, a snafu or whatever behind the scenes in the, in the galley and you're correcting these, you know, <laughs> esoteric idiosyncrasies and we are correcting it, but out in on the on the dining room table they they're, they're none the wiser and if, and, and if you can pull it off in a timely fashion it's like they're not even aware of of what you had to go through to get there you know and and, and therefore it's seamless because there is that divide and uh, and i think that's um i think i think that's kind of a wonderful sort of behind the scenes story like well we did achieve this but hell, you should have seen what we had to go through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and to be able to maintain your composure when you walk out to the table and with all smiles is not always easy. So, you know, you're so graceful. No, it's essentially, we are, even without the camera, if you take the, the, the TV process out of it, we are essentially thespians. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Well, so, I know that, like, you know, a chef, and, I, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a singer, so, you know, with being a chef, you know, there's a lot of passion that comes behind it, um, a lot of emotions that go behind it, um, and I noticed that also sometimes carries over into relationships um, on the show and boats and stuff, so how do you, like, separate, you know, relationships versus your professional job? You know, that's a... That's a great question. And to be honest, within a relationship scenario, I, I feel like it, you're a team and your other team member has to be aware of what you're going through and, and vice versa, you know, because stress is, a, it should be kind of divided a little bit and that there should be compromises there. So I'm lucky enough to have a wonderful girlfriend that understands that. And, but I also know my limits. And, uh, and I think that that's, that's a, a good place to start. And, uh, and if you can finish there, then you've done really well. <laughs> yeah, so how, how did you meet your girlfriend recently? We, we started off as friends uh, maybe six years ago and uh, we just kind of kind of grew to like and then love each other and then we moved in and we've had probably like a week apart in three years and oh, uh, it's it's just wonderful so she's just the right girl I mean she's so chilled out and uh, and really understands it she's very emotionally intelligent Apparently, I'm not emotionally. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so maybe there's something there. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, I can't, we can't wait to meet her. And yeah, that's part of your passion. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So honestly, I am so happy that you said yes to this. Well, I mean, hey, I mean, thank you so much. I would, I, I'll do anything for you, Sandy. Yeah. You know that. It's just, so and just to see you is great. And Leah, you're you're amazing. I've actually seen you sing you're you're incredible and, yeah uh, thank you well you guys have something really special yeah december 17th you're gonna come right ben for a meet and greet don't quote me but yeah <laughs> okay we're gonna quote you yeah. <laughs> so it's a charity fundraiser for the maritime industry to get I, a high school program into high schools and that's what december 17th is about but also uh, you're going to get to hear Leah sing, which is going to be incredible. Yeah, and other artists. And, stuff. and then maybe one day Leah and I can come on as guests at Virgin Voyage. Oh, yeah. And experience Chef Ben at the helm of the galley. Yes. I mean, I would love that. And, and not to, you know, not to dispose too much info. <laughs> is uh, we, 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 We're vying for a little more and, and, and hopefully we're going to get there. It's, it's obviously it's a, it's a long process. Yes, with of course. Big companies. We really want something very special aboard these boats. Maybe there could be a couple of cameras involved. Who knows? But uh, 
But we're, uh, we, we're, we're plodding along and uh, we're remaining very positive and I, I think that's the key and, I, and, and I, I embrace that with age. I think when you're younger, you know, a year seems like a long time and then we get older, it's like, hey, what's, what's your, now what's your five-year plan and now it's like, what's your 10-year plan? So like, we're, we're, we're looking, we're, we're hopeful, so we'll see. Something's going to break soon. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Remember the day, so you've come a long way. Remember the day when you go, hey, Sandy. On hey, uh, sorry, Sandy. Don't uh, worry. Special guest. Yes. Uh, yes. What'd she buy? Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We miss you. We had so much fun in Cannes. It was so fun. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm going to get a print from Cannes framed right now. Hi. Are you really? Are um, we in is it? Is this your podcast? Yes, you're on. on. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Kate Chastain in the house, in case you didn't yeah. know Brother that. and sister right there. And it goes without Pretty saying. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll let you guys continue. I'm sorry to interrupt. But, but you're no, next, no. you know, because you didn't answer me. You I sent you a text. Oh. <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> well, go on, ask her a bloody question. <laughs> Kate, what's it like living in the same building with your brother? Um, well, you know, it's like we're one big happy family. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't you agree, Ben? I did. Yeah. We have fun together. You still have you a do. lot of floods in front of the building? Oh, yes. Uh, there is a king tide here in Fort Lauderdale every now and then. Ben's parking spot is safe from it, so... Um, sometimes I'll steal his spot. Yeah. yeah, my unit unfortunately isn't. Right. Oh. So, you know. Well, thanks for the cameo, Kate. Yeah, that was a nice one. One day this will probably become boat storage. Yeah. <laughs> if you're interested. That well, at least you're on a higher but floor. Look, I'm on the higher floor, so I'll be the marina office, and yeah. he will be the marina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, It'll be gangster. It. Yeah, you can just pull right out of here. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Frankly, that's the reason I'm here. Kiara, Kiara, they wanted to meet you. Yes. We love you, Kate. Yeah, we Good love you. you. Oh, oh, finally. Yes, look at that face. Oh my gosh. Ours was here, but he was um, snoring. You could hear him in the microphone. I heard him barking. Yeah, yeah. So did Kate tell you about Can? How much fun it was? Yeah, that was it was special. I was I was actually a little envious. Yeah. yeah Which a isn't trait. a characteristic trait of mine. So it, it's the first time I've ever did well. heard, <laughs> I've never heard him say that out loud. So. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, That's we awesome. want to meet your love. And there Hi. she is. Hi. And the Hi. other puppy. Hi. This is Kiara Cabral, certainly my better half here. No, the puppy, uh, the puppy. silly. We know her name. Me as well. This little one, Mufi. This is Mufi? obsession. They're all better. This mm -hmm. is so cute. She I love him at night. It's he so. He sleeps next to his head every night. It makes me very jealous. Well, Aww. he couldn't say nicer <laughs> things about you. I have a. Oh, I've heard so much. I have a bigger head. head. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard awesome. so many things. I can't wait to meet you in December. Will you both be there? We yeah. will. Leah's singing. Yeah, I'm excited. Ben's gonna do a meet and greet with Kate. It will be there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna I be awesome. Great. I, I can't to. wait. I see behind the scenes, and I see how you and Sandy inspire many people, um, and they aspire to become a chef or a captain or in the maritime industry. So what kind of advice would you give those who are aspiring to be a chef, pull their self together and do the next right thing to, you know, move forward in their life and in a positive way? It's a, it's a good question. So as a yacht chef, you are isolated. So I would recommend personally spending a few years um, in a high-end restaurant and, and, and having men a mentor. Uh, that, that's something that I, I, was, I was very proud. You, you, would, you, would never, you would never imagine this, but I had a little bit of an ego when I was younger. And, uh, but I was fortunate enough to work in amazing restaurants, the best in the world. And, uh, and I think that once you isolate yourself on a boat that you should have the correct training you should be uh food safety certified um you should have some nutritional background because let's face it they're brats they're divas and uh that you know there's a lot of gluten free and all the rest of that so um which is fine celiac's a real thing um so are calories uh so um i i think that you know gain your training i started on small boats and then worked my way all the way to the top uh but there's other ways of doing it you can work you know on a big boat under an executive chef so there's ways of skinning that cat um 
but 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 when you come on you should have a few years under your belt you know and uh i think that would be great advice for anyone uh because you you're you're on your own and if you don't have the mentorship and you don't have the knowledge and the accessibility of that or training you're going to slightly struggle and it's going to be a plod so um i i think that would be good advice so be slightly a, a real chef and then you can really grow from there but food that. safety is really yeah. important on boats especially if you're an executive chef so love that yeah love it yeah. so ben thank you for joining us thank you tell us how to join you on a virgin voyage tell us how to follow you and how to buy your knives Follow me at Benstogram, Instagram, Virgin Voyages. We're actually just putting a, a note out tomorrow on my post. Uh, February 2023 will be Virgin Voyages 2.0. 1.0 was incredibly successful. And uh, we have a safari coming up uh, in October this year. We have only two cabins left and it's a bucket list item and, uh, and everyone stay well. Thank you for joining me and, uh, and I, Hope the best for your podcast. I'll Thank always you. be here for you, Sandy Thank and you. Leah. You know this. Thank you. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. You're amazing. We love you. Thanks, Ben. Cheers, guys. Okay. Take bye. care. Bye. Take care. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, too. bye. 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 <laughs>